Welcome back to another episode of GSC. I have everything here to do a head gasket test, pressure test, with the degas bottle on Casper. So I'm going to go ahead and open the hood and explain what we got to do here, see if you can actually hear over the engine, or if I'll shut it off and do the walk through and go from there. All right, so we've got a pressure tester here. This is our test of solution. Tester, test bulb. On the 94 and up, you don't have a radiator cap. 92, 93 you do, so you would actually do your test right here. On the 94 and up though, you use your, your pressure bottle here. Wait until your thermostat's open. I already came out and started gas for and checked it. Make sure you've got about two inches, two and a half inches below, and that way you don't suck cooling up into this tester as you start to do the test. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that bulb out. That's your vent, it goes to the top. Fill your solution here up to your fluid level and then squeeze the bulb for one minute. So I'll go ahead and get this set up. Squeeze the bulb for one minute and we'll see what we get. There's our one minute, and as you can see, the test fluid is still blue. If it had a bad head gasket, that test fluid on a diesel turns greenish yellow. Not a very pretty color. Um, so far, like I said, this stayed blue, which is great. So if you need to test your fluid though, what you can do is typically walk back to your exhaust. starts to turn colors. As of right now, I'd say the Casper's head gaskets are probably in pretty good shape. I'll probably take it for a drive, warm it up real good, and try it again later, but now we know how to use the leak down tester, and you can see here that the fluid does indeed turn green with the exhaust gases in it. Thanks, guys.